Yo, what's up everybody? It's KB here and today I want to show you guys the best and the easiest way to make a bootable USB drive for Windows, Linux and even a Android. When I say best and the easiest, I mean it. And we're gonna do with the help of this tiny software called Ventoy. This is a bootable USB maker, okay, you can see there. So this is like, in my opinion, the best software to make a bootable USB drive. And there are many reasons. I will talk about that more as we go on to the tutorial because I know some of you guys are in hurry. So I'm gonna dig into the tutorial first. So this is the official site. From here, you can learn more about this software. For now, let's just get into the download section, okay? From here, uh, you can see it is available for Linux and Windows. So we're gonna do a Windows version because I have the Windows, okay? If you have a Linux, you can also get the Linux version. So click on the download link and after that, it will take you to the GitHub page. From here, just scroll down until you see the assets, okay? From here, you have to download the zip file which says windows if you're using the windows okay just click on that and it should get downloaded and it is only 7.6 megabyte it is very small software yet very powerful because uh, as i said this is the best and the easiest way to make a bootable usb drive so i mean it okay so i'm gonna go into my downloads and i'm gonna extract it okay and after that, I'm gonna go inside the folders that I extracted. And after that, all we have to do here is that run the ventoy to disk.exe file. If you can, run it as administrator, okay? And after that, we need to choose our device. So for that, I forgot where did I put my 32 gig gigabyte of USB. Let me find. All right, I found my USB and it is 32 gigs. Just put it on your computer, okay? And it will make sound. I'm gonna refresh this and you can see I have this 32 gigs of Jet Flash Transcend 32 gig. So, so it is recommended to have a at least eight gigabyte of USB storage because Windows file is larger than five gigabyte, so. Yeah, keep that in mind. If you have like four gigabyte of uh, USB storage and you want to make a bootable USB drive, it won't work because the Windows file is larger than your USB drive. So that's that. Now, all we need to do here is that install. And in future, if there is a new version of Wintoy to disk, you can also update. Okay, so I'm gonna click on install and it will format all the data that is available on to my usb drive so make sure that you back up if you are doing the same thing if there is something important back up my brothers right now and it will also warn you here so i'm gonna click on yes because i have nothing on that okay yes and it will just flash the van toy software itself okay so it says congratulations van toy has been successfully installed to the device so now we can just close this and we can access our USB drive and it says Ventoy. So you can see here and it is empty, but actually <laughs> this is bootable already. Now, what you need to do here is that get the ISO file of your Windows copy, uh, like Windows 10, Windows 7, 8, or even a Linux or even a uh, Android. So now what you have to do is once you get your ISO file, just copy them if you want to make a multi USB. So that is also a benefit of using a Ventoy that you can have multiple OS in one USB drive. This is huge if you use Linux and Windows and Android, you know, so you don't have to make a multiple uh, bootable USB drive. You just have a Ventoy installed onto the USB and then put the ISO on it. That's it, you're done. So for example, I'm gonna put Linux Mint and the Windows 10 because I want to do the demo, how it works, okay? It, uh, it, you don't have to put multiple. If you just want to make a bootable USB drive of Windows 10 or Windows 7, whatever Windows you, you use, then you just put the ISO of that in it, okay? 
So I'm going to copy and paste the ISO file into the Ventoy USB flash drive, okay, and gonna wait. So let me have the sip of water ah, while we wait, okay, <laughs> because it's gonna take some time to copy and paste. So yeah, let's just wait. Actually, while we are waiting, let's talk more about the Ventoy, what you can do and what it is. So it's like, the best software as i said i'm saying it again and again because once you have made a bootable usb drive using ventoy you don't have to format your usb drive to make another uh, bootable usb drive you can just delete the iso file that is inside the usb drive and then put the new iso file there simple and you can also store your personal files onto the same drive it won't hurt so that is the power of Ventoy because, you know, it's installed onto your USB and you can remove the ISO at any time and add the ISO anytime. You don't have to do it again and again. So this is like simplicity of Ventoy. It's easy because copy and paste the ISO file once you have uh, installed the Ventoy on it. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's, it's like the easiest and the best uh, software to make a bootable USB drive, in my opinion, okay? And uh, if you go to the official site from there, if you go to the tested ISO section, here you can also find what operating systems are accepted, okay? Uh, I mean, what operating system will work with the Ventoy. Okay, or what <laughs> operating systems bootable USB drive you can make. Okay, there are a lot, a lot. So Windows, you can see Windows list is not that big. So whatever Windows you have, uh, I think it's above Windows 7. So sadly, Windows XP won't work. So whatever Windows above Windows 7 you have, it will work. And in Linux side, let's try to find... Uh, Ubuntu, yeah, Ubuntu is accepted. Mint, yeah, it's accepted. Uh, Manjaro, uh, Manjaro, yeah, Manjaro is also accepted. So uh, you can see the list of the Linux distros, they are all accepted. So I think you can also add a uh, some Android distros too such as bliss os i'm not too sure i have not done the test but i have seen some people have used a uh, uh, like phoenix os which is the android distro yeah it's here uh, you can see phoenix os you can use a phoenix os let's try to find the bliss os uh, bliss os is not here but you can also give it a try because it's similar to phoenix os and that might work because you know the major operating systems are supported by this so yeah you can use this so this is like i don't know what do you think about this but this is the best way to make a bootable usb drive just make it and forget it for years unless you format your drive don't format your drive uh, if you need to delete something from the drive you just delete that and you won't hurt the bootable system and uh, you can put any ISO file onto the USB and put it on your computer and you can boot from your USB at any time. All right, I think it's done. So almost, we are almost there, 94%. Uh, uh, because I put the two ISOs there, one uh, Manjaro and one the Windows 10. So it took me around like five minutes. So we're just gonna wait, 98 already. So yeah, let me show you how it works. You know, it just works the way other uh, bootable USB drive works. Okay, you just need to access the boot menu and from there you need to choose the van toy. And that's it. Let me give you the demo. So for the demo, I'm gonna show you guys uh, in virtual machine, okay? So yeah, let me show you from here. As you can see here, so uh, I'm sure that you know how to access the boot menu of your computer. So when the your computer is starting, you need to press the bootable uh, 
boot menu key which could be escape f12 f11 f8 f10 so it's different in different devices in my computer it's uh, uh, escape in my laptop it's f12 so you can always do the google search how to access the boot menu of your laptop or computer just give the name to the google okay use the internet to find out whatever you don't understand once you have access to your boot menu from there you, ju you just need to choose the ventoy once you choose the ventoy uh, something like this will, will pop up and you can see earlier we copied and pasted the linux mint plus windows 10 and we can choose whatever we want like let's say i want to install the windows 10 onto my machine uh, i can choose the windows 10 iso file there okay and hit enter and it will boot just like any other usb uh, bootable usb boots okay it's that simple the simplicity of Ventoy is that you know you don't need to do it again and again you just delete the iso forget it if you need the bootable usb drive again just put the iso back there and you're ready so let me show you for the linux okay again let me oh actually yeah let, let me close this first and let me show you the linux boot same thing okay so i'm just going to show you here ventoy and uh, linux you know it, it, this thing just not works to make a bootable usb drive this is like multi bootable usb drive too if you are into that okay so this is just great i just started the uh, manjaro okay you can see oh it's a linux mint <laughs> i thought it it was manjaro okay bad my bad but whatever i said it works with any linux distro plus windows and even android like phoenix os and all that so you can see here so it's that easy so hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and hope it was very helpful i think it will be very helpful at least for me it is like very helpful now you know i can just delete these okay from here and i can put my personal files here delete them so whenever i need the uh, bootable usb drive again i can copy and paste it here again and it will work okay it's just like get it once and forget it so it's that easy unless never do the uh, format okay if you do the format of your usb drive just like that uh, it will not work because it will format everything uh, it will also format the ventoy bootable uh, thingies whatever so yeah <laughs> so that's it hope you enjoyed it uh, I will put link in the description for this uh, official site of Ventoy from there. You can download this and have fun with your bootable USB drive. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.